So I have very little bone resorption. That's good. For content like this, give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. I don't have it a specifically set out time but it's normally one video a week, sometimes more, like now this is my second video in three days. Just, yeah, just do that and it'll help the channel, it'll help me, it'll like, hopefully things will like, build to me helping more people which is what I want to do. So... What is bone resorption here you ask? Well, bone resorption is how much bone you lose when you get your teeth took out, so your gum shrink, and that's called by, well, that's caused by bone resorption. So I just came back from a dental clinic. They basically just wanted to make sure that everything was okay inside my mouth after getting all those teeth removed, which it is. So that's good to know, obviously. Like um. The healing's gone fine, the dentures fine, he even said I might not need to get another set of dentures, I could look at the possibility of getting a hard reline um, instead, so if that happens obviously it would save me a lot of money, um, but I have my review next month anyway, so I can see about, well, I can talk to my dentist about a reline or keeping my dentures or getting a new set of dentures or whatever I feel comfortable with. Um, obviously it just depends on money as well because then your set of dentures is going to be another £90 and then another £90 and then another £80 so it's like £170 for another set so yeah so there's that and um, yeah as you can see today I am not in where I normally am this is actually my bedroom so Jamie's uh, away for a nap on the couch on the sofa so while he's sleeping on the sofa I will be doing my video here um, something else I wanted to talk about, I've, um, I've made a new email address just for this channel so if you ever have anything you want to ask me, um, you can write to that email address and obviously ask away and I'll answer questions in my next video or whenever I use to ask questions. The address for my new email address is denturejames at gmail.com I will leave a link in the description and I will put something on the screen about here right now so that you can um, see see it um, basically, so yeah there's that. What else I wanted to talk about was denture pain and what to do when you have denture pain. Like a lot of people when they first get dentures get sore spots so that's basically just the dentures don't fit properly. Um, well they fit properly but they're a bit like too firm I guess to like the rub against your gums so your gums get sore and then they get sore spots and then your dentures become really uncomfortable now most people's top denture doesn't cause them this problem but the bottom denture does the bottom denture is I'm pretty sure online if you look at literally almost every problem with the, a denture that anyone has it's always their bottom denture um, I don't know why, like I don't know why, I mean you can obviously google it but I had literally don't have a clue why that is but for me I had to get my my bottom denture um, I had to get like bits of the acrylic shaving off because I had to take my dentures back twice to get them readjusted Um, I had really bad sore spots so you can do that um, another thing is don't sleep on them, well it's up to you if you want to sleep on them but in my experience when I slept with my denture in, I used to wake up with gum pain. Um, not anymore, but it's been a few months. It's been like two months now since I had my denture, so I don't have that problem. Um, but yeah, um, I wouldn't sleep with them in. Any, I'd, I'd sleeping them in, sleeping with them in anyway is a good, like it's a, it runs a good risk of you developing maybe thrush or some sort of gut, like this like mouth thing like something in your mouth that isn't very nice and um, because you've always got them in it's best to just take them out and clean them at night time and leave them out and then put them back in in the morning and as well like gives your gums a rest so especially when you first get your set of dentures your, den your dentist might tell you to keep your denture in for 
the first night, they might, they don't always, but they might. Um, so you do that, and then once, um, after that you should take them out every night, clean them, keep them in a glass with water or in like a denture tub. I've got a little, I call it my denture bath, I don't know if that's what it's called, but I call it my denture bath. And it's just a little tub um, that fills with water, cold water, after I've cleaned them. I just put them in and I'll leave them in there all night so that I don't, like, so that I don't have to keep them in my mouth. And I mean, I, I don't want to keep them in my mouth at night time anyway, because it, it it doesn't feel the same as when you have your own teeth. So obviously when you have your own teeth, you don't, like, no notice you, you have your teeth in your mouth. If you know what I mean, you can't feel them. You can't feel it. But when you have your denture in your mouth, then you can feel your denture all the time. I mean, I, was, I seen a post on Facebook uh, the other day, and it was in one of the denture support groups that I'm in, and in a, they were saying, um, what do you find more uncomfortable? Having a denture in or having a denture out your mouth? And my response was, and I think a lot, quite a few people like, agreed, it was, they both feel uncomfortable, but not in the same way. So, like when you have your denture in, it's uncomfortable because you can feel it and you always know it's there so you're always thinking about it but then when you take it out depending on how much like how many teeth you've had removed for me anyway my mouth just feels empty when I don't have my denture in so it feels it doesn't feel weird it just feels wrong not having the teeth in my mouth but when I go to sleep I feel more comfortable not having them in my mouth I mean it's it's just you don't feel them in your mouth when you're going to sleep and I think it makes for a, it makes it easier to go to sleep you can say like you're used to having them in your mouth so you won't really notice them in your mouth but I don't think I would ever I don't think you would ever not notice them in your mouth because you can not really always feel that there's something in your mouth um, so obviously it's up to you what you do though but denture pain like if you have any pain whatsoever and if you do have any problems and any sort of spots just go to your dentist and keep going just keep going to your dentist until they fix it. Oh, by the way, this in my hand it is my vape, my vape pen. I stopped smoking almost two years ago, and I've had a vape pen like this one ever since I stopped. And it's literally I've not had a I've not had a cigarette since I stopped. So that's three years, almost three years, coming up, and I've stopped with the help of this. Um, it's not obviously not something I've ever said before. Is it a vape? So yeah, a vape. Um. I'm not like a hobbyist when it comes to vaping, I'm just a, I just like to vape, it's not strong, it just helps me not want a cigarette, I mean I'm pretty sure that I could probably go without this or I really wanted to, but I do like having this for being reminded that I did use to smoke and it just sort of like stops that urge. Um, but yeah, this is all, all this video was about, was supposed to be about, it was denture pain, I just uh just don't deal with it. Just go to the dentist. They'll pick. They'll they'll fix you right up. I mean, if you if you stay in the UK, normally if you have anything related to denture pain, your dentist will try and fix it for free. Even repairs, like if you break your denture, you get it. They'll fix it for free in the UK as well. So the only thing you have to pay for again is a new set of dentures. So they can't repair it. You have to pay for a new set. But it's okay. It's not. It's not too much money. Like in the grand scheme of things, it's worth it. Um. Also, I want to talk about about um um in next week or the week after, I will have a video coming up of a review of a product that is being sent out to me from one of the um denture teas companies here in the UK. Um, I also got another email back today from another company that emails and they're going to send me out some stuff as well. So I will have to venture two videos of products to review coming out in the next two or three weeks. So you just can look forward to that. Um, I'm quite excited to try something else. I mean, they're giving me, oh, I don't know what they're giving me, but I'm assuming it's going to be, there'll be, there'll be adhesive strips rather than just adhesive. And obviously adhesive strips don't leave any goo or bruising or anything. So that's good. Like. And maybe something that I might really like to use, especially after I've used it, I'll find out. I mean, even if you guys could tell me what you use, that would be great to tell me. Um, and for you, you guys who like to ask me to include Milo in my video, he's pretty much sleeping with uh, Jamie, so 
is not uh, is not in this video today, sadly. So I will might, might do another video this week, but um, I will like it. You'll obviously know as soon as it comes up. Just remember, if you really, if you want to, if you want to see more content like this, give me a thumbs up, a wee thumbs up, and give me a, a subscribe to my, my, my subscribe to my channel, obviously, and. Um, Make sure that you hit that notification bell because as soon as I upload a video, you will know that I do it. Um, so until next time, goodbye.